This is the real Tom Rose, and we've got ourselves uh, an angle riddle here. So they uh, already have in the picture that these sides have the same length, so we're going to be for sure using the, uh, um, the knowledge that isosceles triangles, the opposite angles have the same measure, right? So that's going to be a big, a big trick for us to use. So um, let's start out with, and the other thing you're going to want to know is if we sum all of the angles around in a circle, that should equal 360. Right, so if I can figure out this angle and this angle, then we're good to go. Right, so let's start out with this triangle on the right. Um, we know that's 50 and this is 50 right here, which um, since they're the same, which means we know this little one over here is 30. Right, um, if we know, let's, let's go to the, stay on the right triangle for now. The sum of all those angles, let's call this one x, must be 180. So if we have x plus 50 plus 50 equals 180, that must mean that x equals 80. Great. We're close, we just need one more. So if we've got 30, now on the left triangle, you have 30 for this angle up top. But remember that this is also an isosceles triangle, which means we know that this angle on the bottom is 30. And let's see if we, we name this one C, Y. We know that the sum of all those angles should be 180. So 30 plus 30 plus Y should equal 180, um, which means 60 plus Y is 180, which means Y is 180 minus 60, which is 120. So if X is 80 and Y is 120, and x plus y plus theta equals 360. We can plug in 80 plus 120 plus theta equals 360. And that is what, 200? So theta equals 360 minus 80 minus 120 is 160.